Today we've got Emily with us. It is National Tinnitus Week if you're watching this vlog this week. Emily is here to share her story of tinnitus and she knows so much about it and explains it all so beautifully that we just thought we'd ask. We'd well just it explain that actually between the three of us we all have tinnitus. Very true, I'd forgotten about that. Mine's very mild, but definitely hormone related. Yours is I've not. had it since I was in my 20s, which no one could explain why it happened, but it happened after a flight. Um, and I had all the tests done and eventually they just said, there's nothing to worry about. You'll never hear from that ear again. <laughs> it's <laughs> just <laughs> which at 20, 27, you get, oh my God. And they just said, it's like cutting your finger off. You you sever the nerve endings and you'll never hear from that area. My again. noise is a, is a hum, like a washing machine in another room. Your noise is... Mine's like um, the rush of an aeroplane engine, so it's a really high-pitched rushing sound okay. that I have constantly in my right ear. And we're going to hear about Emily. And Emily's got a different sound. <laughs> so, Emily. Okay. My hearing started deteriorating just as I started menopause, so I'd wake up in the night with a racing heart and pounding in my ears and very shortly afterwards I began to notice and my friends and family noticed that I wasn't hearing well so I had a hearing test, saw a consultant and uh, was diagnosed with quite severe hearing loss in my left ear and the tinnitus was like a pneumatic drill that was yeah, really profound. unpleasant yeah, yeah. and really affected everything and, and just made me feel um, quite low. Uh, so I saw a hearing aid specialist on the NHS and have had a hearing aid for five months. Oh, Emily's got her hearing aid with us. It's um, show and tell I, time. I am really... <laughs> but you I'm had a little bit of a problem yeah, today. I don't relax with today because I think my little dog ate the end of my <laughs> hearing aid. So I'm afraid I can only show you. Normally I would always have it in, um, but today I'm only going to be able to show you and the part that goes behind the ear. And you just have the one for the ear that's... Yes, yeah, just for the one ear. Can you explain how it works? Because you were telling us, and it did sound... It sounds so simple, yet it's obviously really complicated, but I love the, the whole principle behind it, because your hearing aid specialist said they should be called... A brain aid. Brain aid. Because um, they actually stimulate um, impulses to the brain. So, they, so with a hearing aid, uh, more of the sound is getting through, it's stimulating the cells and it helps brain activity. And what I did find, um, which is really good news, is that um, the tinnitus um, has gone down to just a very tiny hum, like yours, um, that I hear at night when I take out the, the hearing aid. aid. Mm. But during the day, um, and I'm did they say it. that the level of tinnitus might be Yes, it's, a, it's, it's often works with a hearing aid. That was yeah. one of the reasons I was... And what um, was the thinking it. behind I liked the idea of these little hairs that have suddenly kind of got lots to do yes, with Yes, I, I get it. They're just a bit... All, all the hair follicles are being stimulated and, and, and that um, sends impulses to the brain and that's what keeps the brain working. Mm -hmm. um, so apparently um, it um, will help me avoid things, some, some, some age-related dementia. Which so when scary. you went to see the audiologist, they didn't think there was any link between your fluctuating hormones or anything. They felt that it was something, you, you thought, they thought it was some kind of virus you had. Um, the consultant thought it was probably a virus. Mm -hmm. But what was interesting was um, at, at the time of going into menopause, I was finding myself suddenly becoming quite unwell, mm -hmm. um, you know, picking up colds and, um, various things like urinary tract infections, which I'd never had before menopause. Mm. So I think, um, I come, I've come to the conclusion, hormones have a huge role in keeping your, um, yes, keeping your you gear. healthy. Yeah. And that as you go into menopause, you, you are at risk of, of, of maybe succumbing to viruses that you mm. wouldn't have done otherwise. Yes, yes, um, yeah. I mean, it, it, from what little that we've learned, I mean, it is, possibly linked to the hormone fluctuations and there is some link between yes. your yeah. your brain and your hearing and they, they get confused yeah. and that can cause tinnitus but 
it's not a proven nothing and it's not actually this is one of those funny ones who would have thought that menopause would yeah. be linked to menopause and when i went to my gp after i was in the countryside and it was really really silent and all i could hear this is what led me to go to the gp with this awful hum and it was really stressful because I couldn't get to sleep. But I was in this room thinking, I'm going mad. Mm. Mm. And then I, it, it went on and on. The more you concentrate exactly. on it, the more you hear it's one of those yeah. things. And so I went to the GP and he said, ah, um, switch your radio to a frequency um, where you get the, the white noise. Now, A, I don't yeah. wish to do that. Because <laughs> actually, I definitely can't do Just that. Just <laughs> I've actually got a husband. He likes absolute silence. So one way around that would be to wear those. I think we you can about get that, can't bands. you? That does white, white, you, you white noise. You can also wear, because I've tried the, the white noise app, and that was, I think it is about adjusting, because I'm a lot better with it now. But I think you could, because I could not have played a radio with white noise. But I, you can get... Um, headphones with yeah. little speakers in. See, I had the opposite. Um, See, to me, going deaf in one ear was actually quite a bonus. I mean, I've, I've just learned over the years to get used to mm -hmm. it. But when we did the sleep vlog, you might, if you've not seen the sleep vlog, my husband snores exceedingly loudly. <laughs> and me being deaf in one ear actually <laughs> saved probably our marriage because <laughs> I couldn't hear him as much. I can feel the vibrations as he breathes in and out. But I can still hear him, but not, not as much. So yeah. There are bonuses. Yeah. There are bonuses. So that, so to, I mean, to summarise, you went to your GP, your GP then referred you on to a Audiolog audiologist, yeah. and the audiologist diagnosed... I actually saw an ENT consultant. Right. I actually had an MRI scan, oh, because gosh, actually, a lot one thing you do need to worry about with asymmetric hearing loss, which is just hearing loss in one ear, um, is various tumours. So well, exactly, tumor, and that's yeah. exactly yeah. why so I had to have an actually, MRI scan. Actually, you, you know, you can't, don't assume, and to be honest, when you get to our age, there is a problem with assuming that everything you have is a symptom of menopause. Mm. So I do yeah. think it is important. Because actually, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. 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 yes, exactly. We never say this assume in our um, tinnitus yeah. symptom that actually it can be associated with quite serious yes. illnesses. Yes. Yes. So, you know, do check it out. Yes. out. Yes. And so make it, did you have all the hearing yes. tests? I had things. all the hearing yes. tests. In fact, you can get a free hearing test, which I started with in Boots. Mm -hmm. So, you know, go into London, the Boots, the big Boots store, and you can have it done for free. Um, and they referred me. Uh, well, you know, it in yes, a booth. booth. Yeah. They put my so headphones on the really, wrong way around. <laughs> that's another really good tip, though, because we all see those signs. And I've, yeah. I've seen them in the local optician thinking, oh, let's go in for one of those. You know, have I done anything about it? No, I haven't. It's quite interesting mm. because everyone, I think, now would have a hear if. if would have an eyesight test every couple Absolutely. of years. Yeah. But a hearing test is something when I asked around, um, you know, people won't have a hearing test until they're until they're, family. Not, until they're really quite deaf and, yeah. the, and the family keep going, have a hearing Do you know what? I am actually going to get one done because I have my music and if I'm watching Netflix or something on my laptop, I have it turned up really loudly oh. and then someone will come in the room and say, that is so loud. And I'll say, no, just come in because it's loud music. But in fact, I've got my, my mm -hmm. laptop on maximum for dialogue wow. on, just for dialogue, but yeah. even I notice, you know when the music's a little bit yeah. higher, but top tip then, free Yeah, if you notice know, things test. like I was turning up the radio louder, mm. I had a, um, you know, <laughs> I have a radio by my bed yeah. to wake me up, and I was finding it wasn't waking me up, so I was turning up the volume mm -hmm. to, I mean... Probably causing problems in the other ear as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it had gone from 8 to 12 in terms of range of volume wow. in a couple of months. Yeah. So that's quite yes. quick. Yeah. And, and also, unfortunately, it's high voices are okay, very squeaky high voices not. Mm. Um, my husband is low and mumbles, and he's very difficult to hear. Yeah, and um, youngest son mumbles. Yeah. Talk louder. Yeah. So. In fact, I was wondering about um, taking a lip reading class mm. because I don't think it's going to get better. Mm. I, mean, I was just going to get one of those big. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> a really nice lady. Like that, see? And knowing you would match every outfit, and then you wouldn't be able to find it. Yeah. And the <laughs> double <laughs> agent. <laughs> um, I think one thing to mention before we finish is that um, HRT. There are some links. There has been some studies that have shown a link, but I think it's something that if you're on it 
and yeah. you are suffering tinnitus, then discuss it with your GP. It could be that you might be need to change because, yeah. um, the prescription. I think it, it was just... something to do with estrogen high, but I don't yeah. know. Don't it's quote definitely, on this. It's it's definitely definitely you're on HRT thing. and you're noticing that you're developing HR, uh, tinnitus, sorry. And as we all said, it's a different. It's just a sound in your inner You'll know if you've yeah. got it. Yeah, and do look at our symptoms site on tinnitus. We give tips on you know because it does you know it does say diet, lifestyle, things you should avoid is definitely smoking. Um, there has been found a link with the tinnitus association or something mm. with, with smoking, and exercise. Again, you know it might not cure it, but if you're having trouble sleeping and the tinnitus is causing you, lots of exercise is going to you know actually help you sleep so and help with all the other symptoms, and out with all the other symptoms as well so do check out our symptoms hotflush.info <laughs> listen emily thank you very it's much a pleasure. and we hope yes. that you don't have to rely on getting it out of the dog that you can get replaced yeah. with. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the dog get my homework yeah. I, know. <laughs> I know i don't know <laughs> thank anyway thanks for watching bye, bye.